Hi, I am Dr. Chavi Bansal, practicing homeopathy at Homeshur, home of homeopathy and wellness, Pitampura. Today, I would like to take a very important and a very prevalent disease in society, asthma. There has been a lot of debates about asthma and its treatment in homeopathy, so I would like to put a light on this today. Asthma is a very common respiratory condition prevalent in 5% of the population in one of the stages of their life. It is hyperactive response of airways to certain allergens which leads to constriction and narrowing of the smooth muscles leading to symptoms like wheezing, sneezing, coughing and difficulty breathing. I would like to focus more on the homeopathic treatment of asthma. Homeopathic treatment of asthma does not mean that it will cure it permanently. It is an individual's hyperreacti hyperreactivity to certain allergen and it cannot be cured completely in each one of the patient. It is strongly recommended not to stop, stop your conventional treatment if a person is following homeopathic treatment for asthma, he should not discontinue his conventional treatment altogether. It is always advised to start homeopathic treatment along with the conventional treatment followed by tapering it down gradually. And if a person keeps very well for a very longer period, then only he should put off his conventional medicines. Asthma has been found to be get triggered by certain things like climatic changes, weather conditions, infections, certain exposure to certain allergens, etc. Also, it has been found to be associated with certain other, other uh, health problems like GI problems and any, any other allergies as well. Considering all these in mind, homeopathic treatment is given to an individual according to his manifestations and his associated conditions and triggering factors. An individual's complete history is taken along with his family history and his condition is evaluated completely to know a person's constitution and a person is pres prescribed according to that. In case asthma gets triggered by a lot many factors, a, a patient is advised in the beginning to avoid those triggering factors, but gradually the exposure to them does not make the disease that worse. In case of asthmatic attack or in case of acute asthma, patient might manifest with different symptoms and acute symptoms like difficult breathing and cough and ex a lot of expectoration. In such cases, acute homeopathic medicines have been found to work very well and they are suggested along with the constitutional homeopathic treatment. For any other queries related to asthma, please feel free to contact me through Liberate.